So, I re-entered this game after years, and honestly, I'm saddened to say that this is not quite the experience that I was expecting when re-entering this game. It's been ruined by not only age, but also lots of online issues. Hi, my name is Phantom, and these are my thoughts on Black Ops 3. First thing you'll notice in this game is that it's all still perfectly stylized. It's right on that border of realistic yet slightly arcade-like. It's such a nice style and graphical fidelity that I honestly couldn't tell this game dropped 8 years ago. Especially because customization is grand. It easily beats anything we've gotten after it. Because instead of forcing us with one skin, they give us multiple gears for different areas of the body and I wish this was present in modern COD. Map designs are also flawless. They geniusly made maps that felt like you could both just walk around or use your exo suit in to match both people's appeals of, you know, old and new. And they both have their negatives and positives, and it's honestly something we never really see in COD anymore. But I'm glad it's here. Next thing I want to talk about is combat, which is the staple of the COD franchise, and it feels weird. Now, I have vowed to make my reviews on what I think of the game in its current moment, so this is me doing that. First thing for this section is that I like the shooting and movement, but I don't know if this is because of new Call of Duty. The game just feels so slow. I genuinely felt like a snail compared to anything that's released in the last couple of years, and finding a game on this is like nearly impossible. <laughs> I only found two games after five attempts and gave up on finding stuff because even when I did I would either lag or because the only game modes I was really getting any like, games in was hardcore mode and it's like the only one that really has a good amount of players. And I get killed instantly, <laughs> that's like at the game, but like I haven't played it in years at the same time so it's just too much you know. But besides multiplayer there's also campaign where Gameplay felt okay, and the zombies mode, which honestly ascends the whole game. Without zombies, this game would have easily went down to like a 2. But zombies is so good on its own that it's impressive. Maps from old games have been transferred into this one in a cool looking remaster. And Shadows of Evil is pretty damn solid. Now, I feel that I need to mention the story because plenty of COD fans like it. This one isn't good. Like, at all. It's already a buggy mess, but it's just very hard to follow and you'll feel yourself going to sleep every time because you just don't give a shit. Because this game gave you zero reasons to give a shit. I find it to be so sad that this is the only COD campaign I didn't even like slightly because it seemed like it could have so much promise. But honestly, if we're just going to get another repeat of this in 4, I'm happy they just went without it. I mean, I just feel like I can't even name a single iconic character from this story besides, I don't know, I guess Taylor, but that guy, <laughs> you're, you're like focusing on him a lot, especially in the beginning, so I, I don't know, I just didn't really like this. There wasn't even emotional death to the characters, and honestly, that could be attributed to the voice cast who just never really sounded like they were committed to their role, and it instead felt like I was listening to some boring COD roleplay. But, luckily, you'll get into Zombies, which has an absolute stellar group of characters, lore, and voice acting. And, it's honestly kind of crazy to me that that is the highlight of plot in a game that has a plot. And also, the music is really good. Black Ops has always made iconic tracks, and 3 continued this trend. I find it to be so amazing that they can make the tracks sound new, even when co connecting directly to an old game with like specific notes and specific beats. I really like that. Lastly, performance is awful. As I mentioned, the campaign is a buggy mess. Multiplayer's lobbies often lag, and to be honest, you'll barely find one anyway, so it negates itself, I guess. And there is also a stupid NAT type error that happens to one unfortunate soul of the group and they won't be able to play it with you. Because even with 30 minutes of research, we couldn't come up with an answer to fix it. <laughs> it was so annoying because we all downloaded this to play together and we couldn't even do that. But hey, at least it runs 60 frames per second, right? 
and has a clear picture that I'm assuming is 1080p. Anyways, if you're wondering, I don't recommend this game, and it's sad that I'm actually about to say this, but this Black Ops got buried and done dirty. I'm super upset I can't give it a good review, but it's a big clunky mess. And the only things helping it is zombies, music, and if you can even get into it, the multiplayer being the only key things keeping this game up. I give it a 5 out of 10. If it wasn't able to even run zombies, holy shit, it would have just been way lower. <laughs> but this game is honestly a plague that I can't wait to delete off my console. If you somehow still want it, I'll leave that link in the description section. Any questions or concerns will be answered in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like. And if you want more content like this, please subscribe. That's it from me. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Also, keep doing great things. You're good at them.